Let's chat about self-publishing today. You know, your book cover is the hardest working tool you have in your marketing kit. As self-published author, we have to put in a lot of time in researching our book covers. Look into the genre, the reading buying habits and trends. I like to do this on Amazon. Look at the books in the genre in which I'm writing. Think about the metadata of my book and the categories that I'll tag it in. And then look for similarities, trends, design ideas and inspirations. How can I use these and still have a distinct branding? There are many ways to get your book cover on a budget and having a publishing budget will help you decide whether you can hire a cover designer or you want to go with a pre-made cover or you want to do it yourself. I have a video on book cover design. I'll link that for you. I feel hiring an editor is a very good investment in our book and an important one. But I also want to emphasize that self-editing is also important. And just because you're going to hire an editor, a professional editor, does not mean you don't have to spend time polishing your book. And that's a mistake I made with my debut book. I didn't take the time to polish my manuscript before handing it over to a professional editor. I thought I'm hiring an editor so they'll take care of everything. And while they will, and I learned it the hard way that that's not why you're paying them. I want my editor to fix the things I can't. I want to benefit from their experience of having edited many books in my specific genre. Those are the things I can't do because I'm not trained that way. I want them to go deeper and fix the complex issues that they are specialized in. I want them to go deeper and fix the more complex issues that they're specialized to do. That's the reason why I'm hiring an editor, right? When you hire an editor, they usually give you a time frame in which they'll work on your book and give it back to us. And I don't want them to waste their time fixing things that I can fix or I can get Grammarly or Pro Writing aid to fix. And that's why I feel self-editing is important. Important. And if you need help with that, I have a free editing checklist on my website. I'll have that link for you. Under our overall publishing strategy, we'll have our marketing strategy before release, during release, after release. And this will be entirely driven by our book, the genre it is in, the target readers. First of all, having a budget will help plan things out and use our budget wisely, prioritize where we want to use our money. It'll help see what's working, what's not, and pivot without losing too much money. It'll give us a realistic view of what we can do time-wise, but also money-wise. Keep us on track and manage the overall book release without getting too stressed because no matter how well you plan things, I found self-publishing to be very stressful. In the end, we'll have a ton of data that'll help us with future book releases. So it helps to track everything. Your strategy doesn't have to be super complex. Just a spreadsheet with your timeline, your budget and costs. Just having something to start with and you can keep building on it as you go. I've been turning my workflows into templates and I make them available on my website. So check there and if it's not there, it should come in the future. If you're on my email list, you'll get an email once it is available. These are the things that have been on my mind and I wanted to share it with you. But now I have to get going. So I'll see you in the next one.